before you start you'll want to make sure you've got tools handy I'm going to use vice grips a flathead screwdriver a ratchet and a socket or a wrench whatever fits the bolt that goes through your kickstart lever as well as a set of uh, snap ring pliers you should also make sure you've got all your parts and that they're clean you want to get inside of all the passages here where the kickstart gears and bushings go use brake parts cleaner or some kind of degreaser and get all the little parts clean as well the first thing I'm going to do is take this bushing that rides inside the cover here and I'm going to put a little bit of grease just a dab of it on there and smear it around the outside of it and I'm also going to try to get just a little bit on the inside of that bushing as well and then once it's got a bit of grease on it you can drop it right into this hole in the CVT cover I'm also going to put just a tiny bit of grease right on this section of the kickstart gear very small amount now we need to start installing the spring and the kickstart gear so you can see you've got a hook on this end of the kickstart gear and one on this end of the kickstart gear and this one here is going to go over this little peg in the CVT cover and this one is going to end up here on the kickstart gear so what you want to do is drop this spring down into place with this hook over this peg first So now that the hook on one end of the spring is around this peg on the CVT cover, then I'm going to use a pair of vice grips and grab the hook on the other end of the spring, like you see here. I'm grabbing it on the closed end and kind of keeping the pliers at about as much of an angle as I can without running into the case, obviously. And then now that they're on there, I'm going to twist around this way so that this hook ends up closer to the top of the CVT cover. So now that I've got the hook up there, then I'm going to grab the, uh, the kickstart gear and drop this down into place through this hole, the bushing here. So hold the spring so this hook is out, drop that down, and then you should be able to get the uh, kickstart gear to kind of go into this hook on the end of the spring and make sure you're pushing that down so that nothing can come loose nothing can spring out at you and then you can remove the vice grip so hopefully you can see now you've got one end of the spring hooked on your cover and then you've got the other end of the spring hooked onto the gear and make sure you keep pressure down on this gear for now so that this gear can't pop up and the spring doesn't come out of place sometimes when you do this the spring will get out of whack a little bit it'll ride up on the uh, the center of the case here so what you can do there's a hole in here you can kind of use a, a screwdriver and pry that spring back down if you need to and just make sure it's seated properly but again make sure you're keeping pressure down on this kickstart gear so nothing can come loose then again still applying pressure flip the cover over so now I'm still holding pressure on one side but I've got the cover flipped over and you can see there's a groove down there where a snap ring will go but before that snap ring goes on you should have a small washer so slide that on over the uh, kickstart shaft then get the snap ring you can probably start it on there without the pliers get it kind of close then you'll need to take your snap ring pliers and open that snap ring up and work it down into the groove on that shaft you may need to take a screwdriver or something and push it the rest of the way down until you should hear it kind of pop into place and once your snap rings installed you should be able to remove your hand from the other side and remove pressure then you can take and flip it over and make sure your spring is still installed it should be it hadn't moved around everything's still in place now I'm going to install the kickstart lever so the first thing I want to do is take a screwdriver and put it in this little opening here 
and just pry a little bit to make sure that's going to slide onto the shaft easier. Then I'm going to take my lever. You can install them kind of parallel with a case like this. I prefer to put them up at a little bit of an angle so it's easier to kick. And then just push it down, make sure the splines on the lever are lined up with the splines on the shaft there. And then push it down into place. Once you've got that in place, then you just install the bolt through the kickstart lever and go ahead and tighten that down. Once that's tight, make sure you don't have your hands or anything behind the cover and then you can work the lever and make sure it moves and returns. Now I've just got this gear assembly and a washer left. So what I'm going to do is take a dab of grease and put it on this shaft on the gear assembly. Again, you don't want a lot of excess. I also spread just a tiny bit of grease on this washer. Then the washer can slide down over the shaft and set up against this gear. You may also want to put a dab of grease on the kickstart gear or the large kickstart gear. Just a small amount again. You don't want a lot of excess grease inside your CVT cover. This section here you'll need to go in between these two posts on the CVT cover while this gear meshes with the large kickstart gear. So what you do is start this shaft down into this hole in the CVT cover. Just get that sitting in there. Then you want to keep this gear from falling out and with your other hand you're going to work the kickstart lever down a bit so it moves that gear. And once this gear is turned around a little bit then put some pressure down on this gear here and move the kickstart lever back. Now you may notice that your kickstart gear isn't all the way up against this stop here. And if you look at the gear you can see they actually put a weld here so that the gear can't go past that point. So if it can't go past that point it just won't let it go all the way up against that stop. So that actually is normal even though it looks a little strange. Once that's finished you just want to make sure everything moves freely and returns and then you should be able to reinstall your cover onto the engine.